Access to the island's main ports have improved significantly two months after the passage of Hurricane Maria. Chief Executive Officer of the Dominica Air and Seaports Authority, Benoit Badwill, on Monday on 27th November at the press briefing gave an update on progress at the ports. He reported that the Canefield Airport is now back on the Domlek electricity grid. And that is very good news for us because uh, we were operating with a level of difficulty uh, at Canefield uh, having to operate on a small generator. And so now I'm sure the persons in customs, uh, immigration are a lot better and knowing that uh, because of the connection to the grid that they are, their working environment is a lot more pleasant than it was before. He stated that although the Woodbridge Bay port was reconnected on November 10th, they are still experiencing minor setbacks. Still we are grappling with some of our electrical um, uh, pole lighting that is still out, but we are gradually getting there. And so we at one time could not work at nights, but only had to operate during daylight hours. Now we have actually improved the system and we have mobile lighting that would allow us to work ships at night, uh, especially from the standpoint of the container park area. The DASPA CEO stated that in Portsmouth they are still behind with getting direct power from Domlek. We're trying to deal with some of the issues we have on the ground because uh, elect the electrical lighting there was uh, badly hit and we're trying to make sure that first safety comes first for us in terms of the operation and then we gradually will see how we can improve the lighting into Portsmouth. So the, the, we're hoping that within the next two to three weeks that we will have a, the cargo shed completely restored in Longhouse and that um, once again we can have full covered storage uh, of cargo in Portsmouth. Reporting for GIS News, I'm Lorian Graham Carter.